to my channel cook it with manual focus and today hey we're gonna be making an absolutely delicious smoked brisket now we're gonna take this brisket low and slow so we're gonna be doing this thing overnight so it's about six o'clock be about 6 30 before i put that thing on the grill then we're gonna let that thing smoke overnight we're gonna let it rest up and then the next day it's gonna be ready for dinner now you see that smoke coming up we getting prepared so you'll see in a little bit, I'm gonna trim this brisket up, season it up, and then we going on that Lexington Pit Boss with that brisket. And then we gonna be in the game, fam. So I'm gonna take you through step by step how to get this brisket on that smoker and then make it absolutely delicious, fam. So without further ado, let's focus on this brisket and let's get this brisket on that smoker. All right, going in with a binder, I got some Worcestershire sauce and then I got some Bucky's brisket seasoning. So I'm gonna use that W sauce as a binder and then I'm gonna go liberally with that Bucky brisket seasoning. And I'm gonna tell you fam, that Bucky's seasoning is absolutely fantastic. So if you never went to Bucky's before and tasted that brisket, it's absolutely phenomenal fam. So I had to pick up me, you know, some of that seasoning and then do my own brisket with it. Now we're going to put it on this front side and follow the same steps. We're going back in with that W sauce as a binder. And then we're going to hit it with that Bucky's brisket rub. And again, like I said, I want to go a little bit liberal with the rub because I'm going to be using beef tallow when I wrap this brisket. And that beef tallow is going to kind of mill out the brisket rub. So you want to kind of, you know, overshoot it a little bit, but not too, too much, right? You don't want to have like an overly salty brisket. You want to have it like just right. Make sure you hit those sides. And then I know you see, you got like a lot of seasoning on that board. And then you can take your brisket and you flip it on the sides as you will see me do it in a little bit. And then just hit those sides with that little, you know, brisket rub that's on that cut board. All right, fam, so with this cook here, we're gonna be rolling 225 degrees. Like I said, we going low and slow today. And then let me show you my setup inside, right? Now, I know you've probably seen the camp chef with, you know, it's able to do real wood. Now I got this little smoker box that I found at my local grocery store, and I thought it would be perfect for times like this, right? So I'm gonna be smoking some real wood. I'm just trying to get this, you know, hot like coals and then let that bad boy smoke up. So I'm gonna put my point up here and then I'm gonna let my flat lay down here because this is gonna be exposed to some additional heat and that flat is gonna remain a little bit cooler, right? But you see right here, yeah, buddy. Got a little smoke, extra smoke rolling. Hey, we in the game. Now we're gonna place this bad boy on. Like I said, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place that point down near this side, closer to that smoker box because that smoker box is gonna have a little bit more heat and then we got that flat on this side. So now we are gonna let this bad boy do its thing and we'll see you guys in 45 minutes because we're gonna continue to you know, feed that smoker box and then spritz if we need to. All right, we'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, fam, it's been the first 45 minutes and let's check on this brisket. All right, so here we go. Now we looking pretty good and right now i'm not gonna spritz it just yet so it's looking good it's not like dry just yet but i'm gonna let this roll another 45 minutes and like i said you see that smoke coming up from that smoker's box hey that right there is key now we're gonna let this thing do what it do we're gonna close this lid because again if you're looking you ain't cooking so we'll see you guys in another 45. it's been another 45 minutes let's look at this bad boy all right we got that smoke cycle going but what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit it with that 50 50 apple cider vinegar and that water and i'm just gonna keep this bad boy moist so it doesn't dry out on us hit those sides because that's where it's gonna dry out the most just make sure, like I said, we're keeping this bad boy moist as this bark forms and we're going to be in the game. So I'm not going to keep this thing up too long. Just want to spritz it a little bit and you see that smoke coming. I want to get as much smoke as I can on this brisket 
and we're going to be in the game. All right, fam, now you see that brisket's coming along great. Now, every 45 minutes, I'm going to come out here and I'm going to spritz this brisket for the first couple of hours or so. Now, I'm not going to bore you with that part of the process, so I might bring you in every now and then and show you how the cook is coming along, but it's going to be a long night, but you already know, hey, if you want to cook right, you're going to do it right, right? So we'll see you guys in a little bit, and we'll continue to focus on this brisket. Hey fam, we've been going three hours strong. I've been feeding that wood, you know, like I said, coming out here every 45 minutes. So I'm checking the wood, then also spritzing if needed. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell you this brisket is coming along great and that wood is smelling absolutely good in this grill. So again, new setup that I'm using and um, hopefully you guys like that and try it out, you know, if you like. All right, let's go down and check on this brisket, see if we need to spritz it and also look at that wood see if we need to add a little bit more wood and then you know we're coming on hour number four and five so i might stop with the wood chunks and then just let the pellet grill do its thing you know continue overnight but you know i'll make that decision in a little bit but let's see what's going on in this grill let's see how this brisket comes along yes sir and again you can see that smoker box still doing this thing bringing up some of that smoke right so what we need to do is you know spritz this brisket again because it's looking a little dry like i said we want to keep this thing moist and that bark is coming along as it should be it's looking good you know we're getting some color on it and um that bark is almost there you know that really you know moving off of it you know it's not firmly set just yet but hey fam we almost in the game so I'm gonna bring you down so you can see the smoker box right here. See what it's doing. Yes, sir. I wanted to put that smoker box closer to the point because that point can take a little bit more heat than the flat wood. But as you can see, it's throwing out that smoke. That's what we like, that's what we need. All right, fam, we're gonna let the stain roll back down and we in the game. So as you can see right here, that nice clean blue smoke coming up out of there, consistent smoke from that smoker's box with that real wood in there. Again, I know some people, you know, complain about pellet grills not putting out that smoke flavor. This is a way you can get some absolutely delicious smoke taste. And then, you know, not really having to buy another grill. So, hey, try it out, see what you think, and hit me in the comments what you think about it. So it's been about five hours and we in deep on this cook. So brisket is coming along great. And here's the decision to make. Do we want to continue to smoke with the hardwood? And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, I'm not doing it because, like I said, it's going to be a long cook. I think I got enough smoke flavor on it. So we're going to check on this brisket, and we're going to see how it's coming if we need to spritz it again. And then, you know, check the temperature and see how far we've come along since we started with that 225. So let's go down to this brisket and see how this bad boy is looking. We're going to check on the bark. Yes, sir. That bark has officially set. Nothing's coming off. And we in the game with the bark. So now, what we need to do is check the temperature on this bad boy. And then we need to spritz this bad boy again. So we're going to go into, you know, the point of this and see where we are. So we're about at 142. So we're at about 142, 143 or so in the flat. So even cooking pretty much in both parts and fam we in the game so that's what you know you're really looking for you know when you're cooking a brisket or anything in that you know matter is you want to even cook it and you know we don't really have to rotate it but what we will do is we'll continue to spritz this bad boy so let's spritz it and then we're going to close this top but hey we coming along good man I'm gonna bring you in and I'm gonna let you see the color on this bad boy. The color's looking good. Hey, we in the game, man. We in the game. So fam, look at this color on this brisket right here. Yes, sir. Man, that looks absolutely amazing, fam. Look at that. Yes, sir. So it's about three in the morning and that brisket's still coming along great. 
right now we're still sitting at 225 smoking right now the temperature is about 147 to 149 depending on where you probe that brisket now what i'm gonna tell you is i'm not gonna wrap this brisket so i got some remington pans that i don't use right and i'm gonna fill those with water and this is gonna create moisture inside that cooking chamber and it's gonna keep that brisket moist throughout the rest of the cook so i'm gonna throw that in there we're gonna go down look at this brisket and see what's going on with it we got these pans in here with the water that's gonna create that moisture and keep this brisket moist and fam we're gonna be in the game fam all right, let's let this thing down, let it do what it do. All right, folks, fam, it's the next morning. We're sitting at about 8.30, and the brisket's sitting at about 160. Now, you gotta make decisions when you're cooking the brisket, right? Do you wrap it, do you not wrap it? And then when it hits that stall point, do you increase the temperature or you, do you wait it out, right? Now, what I'm gonna do, because it's overcast today, we might get some showers here and there, so I'm not gonna risk it. I'm gonna increase the temperature to 250 degrees, and we're gonna let this bad boy ride out for the rest of the cook, and um, I think it looks good. So I'm gonna let you guys come in and see where we're at, see the progress, and uh, we in the game. So here's the brisket, look at that right there. Nice look color, bark, absolutely phenomenal. And um, you see my water pans right there. May have to fill those up in a little bit, but we coming along great. And we'll see you guys in a little bit. But check out this brisket right there. So you probably ask, what is a stall? So a stall is when you know your brisket or pork shoulder or pork butt, you know, reaches about 155, 165, right? And then it just stalls out because at that point you got like evaporation on the surface and then that cools like down the meat and it stops the cooking process, you know, temporarily. And you can ride it out if you like. And there's different type of methods, you know, that you can beat that stall, like increasing the temperature. You can wrap it if you like, but if you're patient enough, you can let that bad boy ride out, let it do its thing. But I can tell you that stall can last for hours. So. So I'm not willing to risk that today just because it's overcast. And uh, like I said, we're gonna increase that temperature 250 degrees so we can beat that stall and this bad boy continue to cook. But it's looking good. You see that brisket? Hey, it's looking good and it's smelling good, fam. All right, folks, fam, the time has come. That brisket is ready to wrap. So I got me some butcher paper, right? And we're gonna go down to it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spritz this butcher paper with the apple cider vinegar that I was spritzing this brisket with. And then this is gonna help, you know, make this butcher paper a little bit more pliable when we start wrapping it. Now, also, what I'll be using is some beef tallow. And again, you know, the fat that we use from this brisket, you can, you know, render your own tallow. I put mine vacuum sealed, put it in the freezer, and then I'll be, you know, rendering that at a, in another recipe. All right, right fam, we gotta get this brisket off. So come follow me to the smoker and let's see how it's coming. Now look at that right there. Now, I'm gonna, I'm gonna take you on the, so I know a question I get all the time is when to pour your brisket. And I'm gonna go ahead and show you. So if you do it right, this is, you know, my thermometer right here, you can see. So we come up here and we probe into this meat. We're sitting at about 195, that is good. We're gonna go ahead and pour that. Down in the flat, we're sitting at about 191 and it's going in and out like butter. So if you don't have, you know, much resistance with your thermometer going in and out, then you are good to go, fam. So that's a tip right there is when that probe, that thermometer probe goes in just like butter and all that brisket, then you good to go. You can pull it. So let me go ahead and get this bad boy off. And here we go. We're going to situate this bad boy on this butcher paper. I'm gonna take me some of this cold tallow. So I'm gonna take me a little couple scoops, place it under that flat, and that'll melt. And as you can see right there, it's already melting. So we'll do a couple scoops there. So we're gonna let this brisket sit out for about an hour so the cooking process can stop. So I recap my stove, right? 
and so you can change the setting where it can go underneath your lowest setting so my lowest oven setting is like 170 so once I recap that bad boy it can go 35 degrees under so I set it 30 degrees under so it's gonna be sitting at 140 so I'm gonna hold this brisket for 140 until we're ready to slice into it so I'm gonna hold it for a couple hours until we're ready for dinner but let's finish this brisket right now I got my other you know beef tallow right there we're gonna put that underneath just like so so we're coming in fold it and then just remember like what side is the the meat side up and what side is the fat side up to so now I got my paper just like so and then I'm gonna do something like this I'm terrible at wrapping I don't do wrapping presents and all that good stuff so I'm gonna go underneath like so and then I'm gonna flip it, and then I'm gonna hit it with another underneath. And then we got our brisket nice and wrapped. It is dinner time, and let's do a little quick recap. So we smoked this brisket, we started at like 6, 6.30 the previous day, and then we finished the brisket 12 noon today. Now, after that, we let the brisket rest, for two hours so that would allow that temperature to come down easy and then when it hit about like 140 or so then we put it in the oven so we held that brisket about three hours at 140 so now here it is let's take a look at it it's out it's ready to be sliced up all right folks fam here is the brisket right here and let's get this bad boy unwrapped Y'all already know I love this part about unwrapping. Like I said, this is like Christmas and whatever month you're in, this is, you know, May, about to be June. But look at that brisket right there. We're gonna pour a little bit of, we got something from that butcher paper. So we're gonna go ahead and cut into this bad boy. So we're gonna make some cuts. We're gonna start here at that flat, and then we're just gonna cut right. And look at this fam, right there. See that nice and juicy. That's what you want right there in the brisket. And you see that fat's rendered down right there? Look at that. That is absolutely amazing, fam. Look at that right there. Yes, sir, look at that brisket right there. Fam, that looks absolutely gorgeous, delicious looking brisket. Give it a taste test, here we go. Nice little brisket for you. Mmm. Now that, it's absolutely delicious. Got that fat rendered down and that bark, it's nice and crispy. Hey, that's pretty good. Mmm. That is absolutely amazing, fam. And I gotta get me another bite of this bad boy right here. Nice and tender. Again, a clean bite, you already know, it's cooked right. Now, a lot of people say using tallow will mill out your taste. That's why you kind of over season a little bit, and which I did in the beginning. But this is absolutely delicious, fam. Mm. That's good. That Bucky's brisket rub, absolutely phenomenal, fam, right? So we gonna slice this out. First slice is gonna be a little thick slice. And then you got that fatty, right? So we're gonna do this right here. We're gonna cut it, and then we're gonna cut off, you know, some. I got me a little taste test right here. My camera crew, I'm gonna let her taste a piece. Mm -hmm. Like it? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> 
Now, that's one of the best parts of brisket right there. That cut that I just made, absolutely delicious. So if you're gonna serve, you go, you know, charge somebody for brisket, let them try a piece of that, and then you in the game. They're gonna want absolutely more of that. So hey, cheers, fam. Mm. Now that right there, that's amazing, man. Now we're gonna cut this a little bit on the thicker side. And fam, that bark is good. It's absolutely amazing, fam. Ooh, look at that. That looks amazing. That bark is nice and crispy. Let me get us a little piece out of there. That's what you want right there. And again, I gotta go in for another taste test. I'm sorry, but this bad boy is good. Not that fam. Ooh, that's good. You want to add a little bit of tallow because after you cut your brisket, you know, it tends to kind of dry out. Your juices start to run out. So get you some tallow. That's why you need to render your tallow when you're serving it. And you can rub a little tallow on there. Now, if you're new to this channel and you like this content, go ahead and smash that subscribe button and join the growing focus fam. Hey, we just reached 8,000 subscribers and we're still growing. Again, thank you so much for tuning in. So for the Focus family that's been rolling me for a while, you already know what I gotta do. I gotta smash into this brisket. It's dinner time. And until next time, we'll see you guys later. Peace.